tonight's dinner, I am going to be cooking in our travel buddy a little mini pork loin roast and some garlic potatoes. So um, what I've done is I've just got a little bit of a marinated pork loin roast here. And I bought that um, from Aldi's and it was in a long piece of they, they come and it was too much for the three of us in, in its um, original structure. So I've cut it in half to get two meals out of it. So I've just um, taken that out of the freezer and I have defrosted it. So I'm going to pop the pork roast into one of my glad oven bags. As I've mentioned before, because the meat will get quite juicy in the Travel Buddy oven and I don't want all the juices flowing out everywhere while we're driving along. So I don't need to tie the bag off. I'm just going to leave it loose and sit it on the tray like so and this time what I'm going to try and experiment a little bit with the potatoes because in the past I've said that uh, I normally pop the potatoes in the bag with whatever meat I'm cooking and often that's quite nice because the potatoes absorb some of the meat uh, juices as well but I want to try and get my potatoes a little bit crispier if possible so I'm going to actually place the potatoes around the outside of the meat um, on the tray loosely. Now, because we're not going to be on any more dirt tracks at the moment for the rest of our journey home, we're going to be on tar roads, we shouldn't have any real problems with bumping and moving about. So um, that's why I thought that this is a good opportunity to actually trial putting the potatoes around the outside um, of the meat instead. So I've got um, three of my little small washed potatoes here that I've chopped up. I've just mixed a little bit of olive oil and some minced garlic together um, to give them some nice flavour. Smells so good. So I'm going to pop those into a tray like so, just around the edges here. And like I said, it doesn't really matter if a little bit of the mess is created in the tray while we're traveling because we shouldn't be bumping about for them to actually cause a lot of spillage. The main juices are going to be contained in the bag. So um, that's the important thing. Now these are going into a cold oven today and I'm putting them on 200 degrees and I'm going to cook it for three hours. And hopefully after three hours, that should be plenty enough time to make sure that the meat is cooked through and the potatoes are done. So we will come back later this evening and let you know how they've gone. Thanks. Okay, so the pork loin roast has been cooking now. Um, after the three hour mark, I um, had a look at everything and I wasn't quite certain whether the pork looked like it was quite done. The potatoes were looking pretty good, but I thought I might give them another hour. So I've actually left them cooking for four hours in total. As you can obviously see from my attire, we are heading closer back to Victoria and the temperature drop is freezing. So it's quite um, a, um, trying to get an adjustment to this weather is insane. But anyway, this is the perfect weather for a nice warm roast meal on the road tonight. So I'm going to about to take it out of its bag and have a look at the pork and see how it's cooked. As usual, there's a bit of juice in the bottom of the bag, but the bag's collected it, so that's good. Wow. Wow. That looks delicious. Let's have a look and see. Wow. That is so tender. It's not dry. Looks beautiful. Yeah, I just wanted to give it that extra hour. It, it probably was cooked, but being pork as well, I'm always a little bit more reluctant to have it slightly under. Same with chicken. 
So, um, yeah, I'm happy that I kept it going for that extra hour, for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you believe that we can produce these sort of meals from an oven in the back of the car? It's quite insane. And it's so simple. Like, unbelievable. I'm just going to have a little bit of a quick taste of some of this and see what it's like. Mmm. Sorry, that is really good. Definitely nice and tender. I'm just going to dish these out. I think, um, you know, maybe three and a half hours certainly would have been fine as well. Um, but, you know, like I said, I just wanted to make sure that that was definitely going to be cooked. So I'm not, not fussed that I took it to that four hour mark. If the oven was pre-warmed, I probably definitely wouldn't have taken it over the three and a half hour mark. But it wasn't, it went into a cold oven. So now I'm gonna grab these potatoes. So these are actually looking quite good. They're certainly soft. They're not um, as crispy as I was hoping to try and get, but um, Yeah, I don't know if anyone's been able to achieve that. That looks okay. Um, with potatoes, if they have, I'd love to hear it, from, especially from raw. Maybe if I turned them a little bit. Mm, no, I don't know. I don't know what the secret to that is yet. So if anyone's got any pearls of wisdom, let's hear them. And then I'll just grab my corn. Cobs. And that's it. So there we have, hopefully I won't fog the lens, my pork loin roast with garlic potatoes and corn on the cob. So hopefully you get to give it a try and let's know what you think when you make it. But uh, I can't wait to dig into this. Thanks. So a quick post review after eating the meal now. Um, the pork um, was okay, um, certainly e e quite edible. Um, I probably would have stick to the three and a half hours though just to get it that little bit more um, juicy and I think you'll have no problems whatsoever. The potatoes were um, again okay most of them were cooked through there were a couple that were slightly hard to the tooth but not like anything major I don't mind them like that but Jason doesn't uh, like them like that um, but majority of them were cooked through so our thought is if I'd put them in the bag to absorb the juices they would have certainly been cooked and it's really nice for them to pick up the flavors from the meat as well so i think from now on we'll just do our potatoes that way when we put them in with roast in the oven but overall certainly a really nice meal um, and one that i think you'll like if you want to give that a try hope it helps see ya